Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Blades, The Binding of Isaac. After birth, we're gonna do a daily challenge today. We're Kane. Europa put down an incredible score today. Luke put down a pretty good score as well. 26 and 21,000 respectively. 26 means there is an Awaz rune or a self-sacrifice rune or something like that. Yesterday, it's... Uh, look, Mathis was close. I'm not even like mad about it. Um, but we were like 3,000 points higher if I just didn't try to shoot the moon. But I had a good time with that regardless. We were like one, like one little dice roll or even black heart or spirit heart away from uh, being able to probably teleport to the dark room and put down like a top 100 score. But hey man, I would it's better to have lived and lost than to have not lived at all. So 26,000 here as Kane uh, doesn't strike me as particularly easy. We do, we do know for sure that we're going to need a seam. You're not going to be able to get uh, 100% of that score, or even close to it, really, uh, just by not taking damage. Admittedly, not taking damage would be pretty sweet if we could make it happen, but uh, also fairly unrealistic, especially when we start with this freaking room right here. Okay. I guess we should have just picked a direction there instead of kind of waiting it out in the middle ground, but life goes on. Try to see if we can get a, an item off the bat here that gives us a little bit of extra killing power. Or some survival, or a spirit heart, you know, there's a, lot, a variety of things. I'm not going to be too picky in the early game here. I'm seeing the board well. I'm ready, I'm feeling good. Yesterday's daily again, you know, it was not a bad rank. It was, it was just a... It was a bit of a Hail Mary that we threw to try to get it. You know, we, we sacrificed like our top 2% rank to try to get like a top 0.5% rank. I would do it again in a heartbeat if I could, because sometimes that's going to work out. It's only a bad decision if it was like a, you know, do or die. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Loki's Horns is pretty bad, or at least not amazing. If we pick up Mom's Knife or something, we might be for it. We don't care about the self-sacrifice room yet. Uh, we do care about this bomb. What do you do with this bomb? Maybe you try to kill two birds with one stone? Yeah, that actually worked for us. We got a second secret room. Okay, I'm gonna try something a little funky here. This is gonna take me a, an extra minute or two. Holy shit, we just got a spirit heart out of uh, the fire. That doesn't happen very often. So I'm gonna use a bomb up here. In Oh, it was close. Entirely because this guy might drop a, a nickel. Or actually, he drops something perhaps even better than a nickel. Flat Penny. Is Flat Penny better than... Uh, then our other option, which was uh, the lockpick? Yeah, I, I believe it is, actually, because uh, we can use those keys for anything, not just for opening golden chests, and, and we should have no problems getting a lot of keys, and also that'll be great for us from a point standpoint. All right, so there's our regular... Oh, no, actually, sorry, that's our second secret room. So our regular secret room should be here or here. Okay, so we found our regular secret room. Inside, we found some bombs. Uh, E-I-E-I-O, and on this secret room, the, the man in the middle just created spiders. Anyway, that's, you know, E-I-E-I-O, sure, I'll say it. Don't spend any money, let's try to keep uh, our chances at an arcade alive here. Head down to the boss fight, it's Ragman. Ragman is a little annoying. You know, I, I would I would feel fine about using a bomb to hit Ragman. The problem is, get close enough to put a bomb down. I'm probably going to need to put myself in, you know, danger. I mean, it's already done. I did it. But uh, I need to put myself somewhat in danger of getting hit by um, the homing tears. But it's going fine. We did manage to hit him. I hate the the Zordan attack, you know? the It's n named after the dude from the Power Rangers who wants Alpha to summon five teenagers with attitude. Zordan? Zord... Zordon. There, look, I'm not a fake Power Ranger nerd boy, okay? The show was just popular on television when I was fucking four. So it's... My memory might be a little spotty about the name of the mythical test tube, you know, Im ambassador on the fucking Power Rangers, alright? Oh man, I haven't seen the show since like fucking 1996, alright? It's been a while. Good, 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 okay. We're fine here. It's, we've been a little slow. I mean, we don't have, like, any damage output, uh, really, so to speak. Let's just head down to the next floor. And hope to, uh, 
I mean, I don't really hope for an arcade. I just hope to pick up something that gives us like a little bit of better damage output because I'd really like to be out of here within the next couple of minutes, and it seems unlikely. Normally, the first floor does not take you, uh, you know, basically four minutes. I'd like to do the mob trap room as well, if possible. Crank dice. No, 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 no. Could be interesting, but uh, I think largely I'd be imagining this to be a little bit more dangerous than it's worth. So we could, if we wanted to, go to the uh, go to the shop on this floor. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Got 11 keys now. Uh, we get the wafer. It's a beautiful item. Not necessarily the you know biggest priority for me right now, but being able to take half damage actually probably gives me a substantially better chance of being able to uh, play a self-sacrifice room to completion. You know, to, to teleportation, I guess I should say. So, that's, on the, from all perspectives, that's a great item. I mean, the wafer is half damage, it's always good. But, you know, probably on this run, a run that ends on mom, so we're not really taking advantage of the wafer too often, it's mostly useful for uh, self-sacrifice room shenanigans. Red hearts we don't need, no arcade either, but uh, I'm not, like, bent out of shape about it. I do kind of wish that we had some bombs, though. Ever? Okay, well, that's not really what I was getting at, but sure. I mean, you tried, I guess. Ah, uh, this is, like, close to ideal. We're gonna fight Pin, we're gonna get a deal with the Devil. Uh, we still have our Spirit Heart, so even if it's a 2 heart or 2 1 heart or a 1 heart and a 2 heart deal with the Devil, um, we can feel relatively okay about going for it, but it, in a way it does depend what Pin pays out with, which is HP. So we will... We don't want all three of these, so this is fine. We'll take a Thame, or a Thame, or whatever it's supposed to freaking be said. Uh, we'll take the Pact. It's pretty good. I mean, the Pact is awesome. Our HP is still solid. Um, we might not have even needed to take the uh, a Thame item, but, but I did. Oh, we got a key out of it. What do you think? Buy the card? The Fool. Yeah, okay, I, I sort of like it. We can get five cents worth of value out of the fool. I figured we might as well give it a shot. Let me come in here. No! All because I used that bomb to kill Ragman. The Reap Ashton Kutcher, you butterfly affected me again, you son of a bitch. Oh, okay. Well, there was no bomb in the shop unless I brain farted, which is possible. Still, you know, that floor was fine. No no big problems there. Uh, the, the fool card, I'm now realizing, by the way, is uh, exceptionally useful for us because it means that if there's a self-sacrifice room on the mom fight, or uh, on the mom fight floor, which is the Depths 2, and I'm expecting that there is because of, you know, Europa and maybe even a Luke scores, um, we can do boss rush, teleport out with the fool card, hit up the self-sacrifice room and get those dirty, dirty boss rush points. Uh... Not have to miss out on those, and you know, I I think I'm probably a little bit above average when it comes to finding these teleport cards. I tend to you know pursue cards pretty aggressively, probably because I spent like you know a year basically doing every single Isaac run as if teleporting out of boss rush was actually what gives you the win, uh, for better or for worse. But uh, I feel like we're we're still well positioned here as long as we don't uh, bung it up needlessly. Yeah, man, we got golden keys, so I you know I don't dislike this at all. Three more keys. Not insignificant swag bonus there. Bob's Rotten Head is at least something. Curse of the Tower, I'd... You just... I don't think you take it. There's there's so few situations in which it's actually, like, applicable. Okay, Bob's Rotten Head, our trusted secret room finder. Real sorry about this key beggar, but it's gotta be done. Gave us another golden key. Which, at this point, I don't even know if that affects our swag, so it may have been better to just get a... Uh, uh, a non-golden key, but, you know, what's done is done. Thank you for being a friend down the road and back again. Golden Girls theme song MP4, but also for... Thank you. Oh, okay, so this is absolutely justifying coming in here. Guppy's Collar. And some bombs, and probably, like, two keys at least. One key, okay. You, you had to just uh, prove me wrong, didn't you, game? All right, easy enough. Probably don't want to take that one yet. I'm, I mean, I'm tempted. I really am tempted to go for it, but I don't think it's the right call. I thought maybe that was a second secret room. Come on, Goathead. Goathead. Not Goathead, but, you know, we got our bomb back at least. I think the swag bonus is going to be, like, not insignificant here, man. 
He says, well, speaking to, you know, more than one person, but in a casual tone. Oh, we're doing this again. Okay, I mean, I love the stone chest, man. Don't, don't get me wrong. Shouldn't have been hit there. Okay, we only have one bomb, so be smart. Do that. Now we have more bombs. Maybe to save a little bit of time, I could just blow this one up, but ah, whatever. We already did it. There you go. Get a rules card. Rooms may yield more than expected. Experimentation is key. What a hugely valuable piece of information. I think we'll buy the Spirit Heart in addition to Fanny Pack. Money's been pretty easy to come by so far. Help, 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 help. We're safe. And meat. Do I take meat? Absolutely. We do still have a chance at an arcade on the next floor. And man, we got our time back. Like, we're three floors deep. The first floor took like half of our time. That that uh, deal with the devil on the on the cellar too really uh, gave me a, it kind of leapfrogged me into a position where I could actually like do some damage, which was nice. We were kind of absent that for a while. So we have the fanny pack. We're gonna play the uh, blood bank here as often as is realistic for us to uh, you know get the maximum swag bonus possible. IV bag would also be a great fit. IV bag is a a very common seam. Uh, for for getting as many points as possible on a run. That's like the Mathis secret that you know he'll he'll never tell you about, but I'll let it leak. Dude loves IV bag on dailies. It gets him so many points. Cursed Eye, um I I psh, it's it's you you're never gonna hear me say it's terrible, but it is pretty terrible on dailies. Specifically in this in this unique situation, it's not your fault. It's not your fault, Cursed Eye, but it is is really bad if you want to fight Hush and Boss Rush and, and not accidentally get teleported out. Uh might as well take the battery charge. I think we should use a key. I mean we have so many. That was just awful damage, but um I don't think there's a real problem with using a key here. Um I'll buy the spirit heart, and that's about it. Second secret room? Yeah, okay. That's good. Could have saved it for our boss, but again, we're, we're killing it on... Well, we're not killing it. We're doing okay on damage. Oh, I like this. Okay, so ideally we'll get IV bags soon. Let's just fight our boss first. It's going to be Dark One. Not an easy enemy, but not a super difficult boss for this stage in the game either. So we have a, a chance to get IV bag, which would be awesome. Then get all those red hearts in there. Imagine how many keys we'd get out of that. Imagine how many fanny pack consumables we'd get out of that. We're really like milking the swag bonus here. Can that be the title of my autobiography? Milking the swag bonus, the Northern Lion story? Uh, hello, uh, Ryan, this is your agent at Random House Publishing on the uh, phone. Um, you have uh, set a new record for the world's worst selling book of all time. So, um, congrats, I guess. Well, we're not gonna be doing any IV bag shenanigans. Uh, sadly. We just got Brimstone, uh, combined with Contract from Below. Which actually does incentivize using things like the IV bag. But, I think we're better off doing what we've done. Like, there was no other way around it that I saw. Unless we still want to go back and play the, uh... Play the Blood Bank to try to make it happen. But I, I feel like that might be a little bit, like, wishful thinking. Up our damage penalty, like... Uh, actually, it doesn't up our damage penalty, does it? But it would it would cause us to take damage and possibly have a, a, a risk of death, which would be pretty sad on a run like this. Excuse me, I just want this key. That was easy enough. I'm gonna stick with Flat Penny, man. It's like... Exactly what we need here. We're gonna clear out every single one of these rooms. Alright, Brimstone, like Loki's horns, is not awful. Really, he's got something going for us on that one. Thought we could get all of them. That's okay. We will take this. Now we're getting double chests, which is pretty nice. I uh, don't really care about that. We do want to be out of here by 13 minutes, but it is one of those things where it kind of doesn't matter at this point. It's not inconceivable, but very unlikely that I would somehow miss uh, Boss Rush on this run. The one thing that would really bum me out is if I go all the way to the Depths 2 and then there's no self-sacrifice room there. And I'm like, oh shit, turns out that it was actually like an AWAS rune. And now I'm ranked, uh, you know, 3,000th. But that's, uh, that's how the cookie crumbles in the daily sometimes. Alright, we're, uh, we're out of here. Found all our secret rooms a little bit ahead of schedule, picked up some really good items. 
Um, uh, for me, sweat. You know what? Play it once. Just, just see what happens. Okay, that's fair. Blow that up. Blow that up. We want like the maximum, you know, number of keys. We want the maximum amount of money. The one thing we've kind of whiffed on this run so far is shops. Like, we have not really had crazy good shop items. Well, no, that is true. We got fanny pack. It's pretty okay. Okay, two floors left. These are the ones where we're going to have to start paying a little bit of attention to what's going on and maybe make some, uh, some weighted decisions. I mean, I guess really all decisions are weighted in one way or the other, but... Um, this, these are the ones that actually will have, like, pretty, uh, potentially large consequences. Just wanted to see. Maybe we got a black card over there. And we do need maybe, like, a little bit more HP. Oh, there you are. We do need, like, a little bit more HP, uh, to feel super confident playing a self-sacrifice room with the wafer. Even with the wafer, I guess I should say, to be clear. You could also... Oh! That was a little dicey. Uh, if you want to, you could just, like, make me guppy as well. I wouldn't, like, be anti-becoming guppy. Pandora's box on the depths one is spirit hearts. Okay, well, I, I guess that solves that problem, doesn't it? Four extra spirit hearts. Now we're, like, comfortably in range. We can basically play the self-sacrifice room 21 times. That should be enough. Unless I d d mess it up in ways that are... Inconceivable to me at the present moment. Alright, this is not a nice room, but Brimstone made it nicer than it had to be. I would welcome a mob trap room here, or a boss trap room. I guess we already had the mob trap room. Oh, careful. Compass is good. Uh, at this point, I don't think we really need the, the other spirit heart anymore. Now we just know, you know, where we're going. We know also there's no self-sacrifice room on this floor, which is actually, like, really encouraging, I think. Because it means that there almost has to be one on the next floor. The only thing that kind of gets you right now is, like, that anxiety of uncertainty, right? Which would be a much better name for an autobiography than, what was it? St stroking the, the boss rush? I don't even remember. Shwag stroking the swag bonus? Something like that. Sure, let's take a little HP. Even if we fight Krampus. I don't really care about, uh... Not having permanent Polaroid invincibility that much. Sweet lump of coal. Let's try it. Might have been worth it. I don't know. Probably not. Okay. 15 minutes. So we do have a little bit of time to work it out here. Uh, yeah. I mean, it depends how much I want to... How, how close I want to cut it. But we might as well explore until at least like 16, 15. Six, 16 minutes, 15 seconds. Uh, just to, you know, get that exploration bonus. We got enough bombs to look for a uh, couple of secret rooms here. Might as well. I don't want to leave, like, super easy points on the board like that. That's not the secret room. A little bit surprising to me. Alright, let's just see. Maybe there's, like, a special room over here. There is no special room over here. Secret room, though? Yes. And a greed fight. This was well worth it. I mean, I apologize. It's kind of like, uh, I don't want to say stoic analysis. I just want to say, like, you know, the analysis on this run right now is kind of like, yeah, that was good for us. But we are taking a very economical approach to this. I'm basically, you know, I'm like the fiscally uh, sound daily player right now. Let's do it. Let's get freaky. Yeah, it worked. Okay. Um, see, I'm hip. I'm cool. I'm with it. But uh, that was uh, that was big for us. Anytime we can get a room with a lot of pennies, it's probably putting a little distance between us and the, uh... And, and other people on the daily who maybe didn't, uh... Take the same path that I took here, so... I'm gonna give it every opportunity to be good. I'm gonna try to play this a little bit. I would still love IV Bag. You know, we, we've come back to it. For sure. And I do want to do the boss trap room as well, which is why I'm doing this. We don't necessarily have to do it, like, right away, I guess, but... Mom's wig is a solid item. I just want to see if maybe there's like a guppy item in there or something. We made like eight spiders in two seconds there. That was awesome. I can't get in here now. I picked up HP. Okay. We should we should handle all of that after we go through our boss fight. You know, we, we really don't want to miss our boss fight. Those are those are now health downgrades. Okay. Um, we don't really want to... Uh, 
want to miss our boss because we were doing some silly stuff with the, uh, you know, boss trap room IV bag shenanigans. Or attempting to get IV bag, at least. One of these days, we're going to get the IV bag, and then the dream is going to be real, and the swag bonus is going to be off the charts. We're going to be, like, rank one. It's going to be a great day for, for society. Not for society. Now, that would be maybe a little bit overblown, but for me, at least. I think I could play the Blood Bank and then pick up that Spirit Heart, but whatever. Wait, is there a self-sacrifice room on this floor? I'm looking. I'm not seeing a self-sacrifice room. So you know what we're doing? After we get out of Boss Rush, we're blowing up uh, every skull that we can find to try to find this Awaz rune. First things first. I'll eat your brains, and then I'll start rocking gold teeth and fangs. Because that's what a Mr. Freaking Monster do. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. That's a lie. Of course I do. But I'm not going to say them right here. Okay. It's Boss Rush, you know. It's not Bob's Rush, so I wouldn't expect uh, Bob's Rotten Head to be that good. But we'll try to, like, drop it on every... Uh, every available wave. Every eligible wave. Whoa! That was a hell of a shot there, Gate. I'm... Well, I can't see the map when I'm in here. But yeah, the quick cursory glance I gave did seem to indicate that there was no second secret room. which Or not second secret room, obviously. Uh, no uh, self-sacrifice room, which is incredibly disappointing to me. I'm looking at my score right now, and I'm like, okay... Uh, we finished this run, or we finished Boss Rush, we get 4,400 points, that takes us to like 20 thou. And then, uh, you know, Exploration Bonus and, and other uh, accrued bonuses take us to like 21,000, and that's where Luke is. Luke's score is certainly not bad today, but, you know, I want to I wanna shoot the moon a little bit further here. I want to I wanna rank a little bit better than that. Maybe, it, well, there's a couple of opportunities. One is an AWAS rune is hiding in a rock somewhere, or like the shovel shows up after you finish boss rush or something like that, I don't know. Um, another one would be, maybe you actually do try to teleport on like Caves 1 or something. I can't imagine that that's too likely, but... I may, you know, may, may be surprised, unfortunately. We got a really good boss rush run here. If this one doesn't have a seam that I can get to, I'm gonna be real disappointed, man. Because we had, we had a good chance. We could have had it all. Rolling in the deep, etc, etc. Other Adele Dazeem songs. Just... Uh, but they're... The movement on these guys. Gotta have it like a college seminar about how you... Coded the AI for those shitheads. How to make the most annoying AI of all time. Then apply it to 80% of the enemies in your video game. Yo, the spiders are getting you, little horn, so it's really up to you how you want this to go down. You, you got me. It hit! It hit! Yo, Mega Fatty's like 80% dead? How the heck did this happen? I wasn't even over here. I walked on some creep. Not very intelligent. Okay, we get Cricket's body, which is not amazing for us. Oh my lord! We didn't need to get hit by that spider. There's another spider available on the... Oh no, he killed him and now the door's open. Okay. Fool card out. Alright. Now we start to look for... Our opportunity. Cricket's, Cricket's head here... Sorry, Cricket's body is like a tears upgrade for us. It's pretty much where, uh, where we fall on that one. Yeah, I don't see a self-sacrifice room when I'm looking at the map here. That's extremely unfortunate. Our curse room, though, contains bombs. Okay. Still still working on it. How'd you do it? How'd you do it, Europa? Where's the secret? Is that the secret? The chaos card? That's really good for Hush if we could get down there. Although, I don't think you can do Hush on, on a run like this. Maybe I shouldn't be using my bombs to do this because we may need those to crack into some skulls. Uh, let's go, let's go look at our shop. I'm not sweating it too much yet. Oh, Cricket's head also works on that, or Cricket's body also works on that. Health downgrades recall. Okay, we gotta check for an AWAS rune here. 
If it takes us another, you know, five minutes, it takes us another five minutes. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Give me that IV bag. Maybe that maybe it's just a swag bonus, man. Maybe it's just a swag bonus that Europa got. It's possible. IV bag, like a really good second secret room. It could be done. Like, look at this. That's pretty good. Let me go hard on this. I'm starting to believe in, in this line of reasoning. I don't want to pick that up yet, actually. I do want it, but I don't want to pick it up yet. But we need the IV bag to make it work. I mean, I, I think you buy the steam sale, even though we may not need it. Um, well, we, we better find some skulls. If it's not going to be skulls, it's going to be some some dank-ass, like, IV bag plays to get 5,000 points. I suppose. Unless the self -sacri or uh, the secret room contains something I could not possibly foresee. Like, maybe this just gives me rune bag somehow? It's a strength card. I'll just pop that right now. We don't really need it to play the, uh... To play the blood bank, I think. Okay, yeah, more, more money. You're not wrong about that. So I think we pick up our HP. We're never going to use those HP downgrades. And we come back in here. And this thing has to pay out with the IV bag. I believe in you. It'll work. You just got to give it a minute. And we can go pretty flipping hard on this. No, you know, pardon my French, of course. I think this is our seam. As, as ridiculous as it seems, oh, ha, 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 it, I think this is it. Especially if we can get IV Bag out of it. As long as this isn't like completely screwing up our... Um, our um, damage penalty. I think this is the right play. And maybe, you know, the wafer ends up being functionally worthless for us. But it's not the IV Bag! How could you? How could you? That was our out, man. That was our secret play! And you'd, you'd, you'd burn me dirty on it! Come on, give me a temperance card. Addicted. Thanks a lot. Uh, well... I would say this probably uh, represents our ceiling for... For this uh, particular daily right here. Oh, or maybe not! <laughs> what?! Go dead out of nowhere! We're coming down, okay, uh... You know, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to maybe find our secret room. Which uh, could be here. Nope. Okay, you know what? Fuck the secret room. Please have the shovel. I gotta take it just for shits and giggles. Okay, that does it. I think. Yeah, we're stuck in the room now anyway. We tried. We got to like 23. 23,000. Puts us in 98th. A couple of Europa, but um, it's still a really good run and good company today. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.